G'day guys, heading out to Harbour City today to meet up with Dan and a few of the other boys to get a nice session in. It is a beautiful autumn day out here in Southern California and I am loving this weather and loving this lifestyle. Good. <laughs> That's a make, dude. That yes. Let's go over here. Where are we going? We're at Harbor City. Why? We're skateboarding. Oh. It's the why. It's the why? It's the why. Oh, that's answering the why. Yeah. Look how aesthetic this part of the park is. Look how empty it is. Yeah. We're out here at Harbor City. Uh, I, was just I was like shutting it down, like laying the smack down earlier before we started filming right now did you so i'll see if i still got some some stuff i'm just gonna cruise like i don't know tom just follow me and i'll just try to pick some shit freestyler mission impossible i was really expecting a manual Yeah, that rail is actually hard to escape on that sticky. side. Yeah, it's a little sticky. It's very sticky. Cause some dumbass was doing board slide crooks yeah. on it nonstop earlier. You know what I want to try? Yes. Oli, no slide. Oh, please, backside no slide this rail. Yeah, Yeah, I, I got Andy Anderson on the backside no slides on rails now. He's hyped. You yeah. know what you need to do? Backside no slide up it and then come back and no slide down it. I've done it down it once. Oh, I remember yeah. that day. Have you ever front nose down it? Fuck no. Come on. I'm not a front nose kind of guy. I you're, can front board though, but... You're a front nose kind of bloke. I know you can front nose this. I'll just do a nose slide, I'll come back, and then I'll, um, I don't know. Try to do something on the menu pad. Oh! Oh, almost first try. That was it. That was I good. I like I was, like, away from the... You were slightly sl saggy, but that would have definitely was, been like, it. I was, like... Yeah, you're a Graham I, Patterson. I like middle school type shit, you know? Is that middle school type shit? Your yeah, middle school yeah. was crazy. <laughs> I'll show you got wild middle schools. <laughs> we don't have middle schools. What do you have? We go to primary school. It's Shrimp on the Barbies? K to six. What did you say? K kindergarten to grade six. And then high school is grade seven to grade 12. Okay. None of this middle school, junior school, sophomore. Uh, what's the other one? I haven't heard of half of Freshman and so forth. I don't know what any of that well, is. Well, that's all like, that's like ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. And I, I didn't make it to high school yeah. i dropped out of ninth grade so and then you, you got the trades you went in the trades right yes sir insider trading me and martha stewart let's go right here oh. wow that was kind of great you did that really good you what do you mean good? yeah that was sick Dude. Is it just me or Sean kind of on one? Good. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Oh, definitely not that. Dude, that nail slide was sick. Like it? Big fan. Woo. You just gotta go fast. Try front nose on this ledge. This Try front nose on this ledge. Casually front, back big spin, front board. This guy. Yeah, but he's pro, so who cares? Pro, pro. Uh, I'll try front nose. Yeah, front nose this ledge and lean into it like you mean it. It's whack, so be ready. Is it the same kind of stance as front board? Um, kind of, yeah. And lean into it hard. Like, don't sag it. Like, actually the get on The thing I hate is like, you're in front nose and you're like this. Yeah, that won't happen. 
We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Get on, get on at the beginning. You know you're leaning right if you, you start to fall backwards. Like lean all the way on top. This way? Yeah, like you want to get like straight on top. That's kind of spooky though, huh? Yeah, but it's it's a bench, you'll be fine. It's wide on top. If I can be brave and make myself try a trick down the rail. Yeah, dude, he was doing some crazy shit over there. I'm just gonna like roll at it. Right on the middle. Oh! How good did that feel? Dude, if I could do this thing today. Dude. Is that not the best feeling slide trick it out of all? It feels good. Cars? It is. I almost feel like a, like I've like mucked around slapping these on curbs. Uh -huh. That's like way more studio. I, I think front nose on a curb is insane. I'm not even really? being funny. I think front nose on a curb is literally like the craziest trick. Oh my heel like touched the ledge. But look how you're still going. You can let your foot drag a little bit and get away with it for sure. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. Where do you set your foot up anyway, or you just? I try to get my toe there, oh. overhanging slightly. Well, yeah, you can be further up. You can definitely be further up. I was more so talking about how far this way, not so much like where on the nose. Uh, okay. Like right here is probably where I want to be. Right. But definitely further to that side. Get on before that first crack. Get on the very, very oh, beginning. Shit. I think that'll force you to put your weight all the way on to slide the whole way. See, that time you started leaning to fakie. Speed, whatever speed works for you. Yeah. My problem, like, see how my my front goes towards the ledge. Yeah. How do you remedy that? Well, I would say, don't go at it like this and that way. You want to go at it kind of not parallel but slightly diagonal, and push your momentum forward. Don't run into the ledge at all. Oh, like try to get on and get yeah. this ledge. Yeah. You do not go against the ledge. You go 100% with towards the ledge. It. Because with backside nose slides, I feel like you kind of go slightly against it. Front side, you have to be completely fluid with it. Yeah, because the only thing I can relate to is like front board. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. should I be looking or no? Uh, I look when I try to do a really long one, mm. but while you're learning, just look at your nose. Just land it. Okay. Maybe look at your front foot. I think that's actually where I look. Oh, shit. Yo. Whoa. Yeah, you got it, right here. If you can do like a four foot front nose, that'd be so sick. That'd be dope. My yeah. Heel dragged again, dude. Yeah, I but that was the right idea. Just my heel was like long boy. You got those big old claw poppers. Oh, it's US 10. Like it's the U. I like how you add the US to it. Yeah, you got it. I can feel the difference between I'm like all the way on my toes and like midway. Like yeah. Kind of on the ball of my foot. But yeah. I mean, it's not the worst thing if I catch my heel because I can just step off. Or just land it. Sometimes my foot's dragging the whole way and I still can right away. I yeah. feel like it's like a handbrake on my like... Yeah, you could use it to your advantage if you really wanted to. <laughs> Lord knows if I can find a way to slow down, I will. <laughs> yeah, he's a heel cider, dude. Millennial as hell. <laughs> you don't want any Devin footage in your video, do you? Look at this guy. I like that he's goofy as well. That's my least favorite thing about him. <laughs> oh, he wants to be you so hard. Oh, oh he wants to be me so hard. Oh. Push it, dude. Lean in. There it was. There it goes. I got it. Who? Uh, cool. Just like Daddy used to make. Your alignment's off. He literally is. He's getting out of here. <laughs> Damn, he just bullied him out of the park. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, yeah. The school bus. The noise of the school bus made me scared. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, yeah, I feel like the weight, like if I'm thinking about it more like a front board, but my weight is here, but I can still see where I'm going, so I can still have that. Whereas, like, I may not be all the way on, but I'm like here. Try one on this rail, bumped rail. This way? Well, yeah, you already have your hands on it. Dude, you have this. That was like, terrifying. Yeah, but you have. What happened? You just bailed. I feel like I can try to get into early. You got it right here. You want to do another one? Oh, oh that, that was good? really good. That was a locking handshake right there, <laughs> dude. That's how good that was. You were on it. It felt, yeah, less like, I don't know, once I got comfy, I think I did the one to fake and I was like, oh, it's not bad being, you know, putting all your weight on it. And then when you're coming out, it just feels like a front board. As long as you keep your shoulders ready, you can just turn your shoulders, turn your hips, and then your legs follow. Yeah, safety's always in the scary spot when you yeah. lean where you need to be. It's so weird, dude. I'm happy about that. Me too. So for the last, like, month, month and a half, I've been working on a bunch of new stuff for evening. Super, super excited to get the ball rolling with evening again. Kind of let everything fall by the wayside these last few years, but I'm not gonna waffle on now. I'm a lot more mentally checked into what I'm doing with my life and the time and energy I put places. So I've been putting a ton of time into evening. I've spent countless days and nights in this garage, like printing and like getting things ready for this next drop. Super excited to show you guys. So I've got some of these sick shirts to drop. Really stoked on the design. It's turned out so sick. And these crew necks too, I'm super excited about as well. So yeah, we got t-shirts and we've got crew necks. And then probably my favorite part of the drop, we got some new hats done, some new snapbacks. Um, they're embroidered with the E star logo. Turned out super, super crispy, super nice. And then obviously if you guys have been following my videos, you'd have seen that I've been printing boards. These are the blemished ones. Um, I have the non-blemished ones, but these are gonna be up for sale as well, just at a little bit of a cheaper price. So these are the boards that are going to be available for the drop next week. So I'm gonna have the boards some t-shirts, these crew necks. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a good little sneak peek. So like I've said, I've spent so much time and energy lately for this drop. Like I've spent countless days and nights in this garage right here while my missus sits upstairs wondering where I am. So she's been very patient with me. I'm gonna be dropping this stuff on the 14th of November, which is my birthday. So pretty much my only forms of income right now is like YouTube and then the evening stuff, like tattooing has died down quite a lot. It's quite far in between each tattoo, so I'll get like an odd tattoo booking every few weeks. So really keen to get the ball rolling of all this stuff again. Hopefully you guys can support. I've got a sticker pack coming out too with this next drop. I mean, obviously if you buy something, you're gonna get a couple of stickers with your order, but this new sticker pack, I feel like I've just like stepped my design game up so much. Super excited to show you guys. You'll have to stay tuned. Make sure you follow Evening Mob on Instagram at Evening Mob, just to stay up to date with the official date and time of the, of the release of this new stuff. Expect to see more evening stuff very soon. Like I'm already planning the next drop in my head. Like I'm super excited. I have some really cool ideas. If you guys can support, that would be amazing. I'm pretty much just uh, going for it. Fortune favors the brave, so I'm trying my best to be rave right now. Cheers for watching the video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger man, bring him to me, cause I'm tired of this trigger man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas special order me a man to name it